Hi there. My name is Antoine Alexandre, and I'm a policy and legal officer in the AI office. As you may know, the AI Act has just been formally adopted and will enter into force on the 1st of August. This legislation follows a risk-based approach and has two basic objectives. Ensure AI systems put on the internal markets can be trusted on the one hand, and support the developments of trustworthy cutting-edge technologies and AI systems in Europe. The AI Act is a very good news for the standardization community. Why? Because it ensures that the standards developed by standardization organization will, if recognized by the European Commission, grant a presumption of conformity with the European AI rules and therefore make it easier for industry to ensure technical compliance with the AI legislation. In this context, the Commission has not waited for the entry into force of the legislation to be in close contact with the different standardization organizations. In May last year already, we published the first standardization request to prepare the technical grounds that will help with the operationalizations of the air rules. This does not mean, however, that harmonized standards will always be European standards. International standards can also be used and proposed as harmonized standards as long as they are aligned with the objectives of the AI legislation. With the AI Act entering into force in the next few days, there is no more time to wait, sit back and relax. It is time now to ensure that industry, civil society organization and the AI community at large take up the challenge and ensure that technical specifications are developed to clear the way for European AI rules to be properly operationalized. The EU is leading the way globally on the legislation. Let's make sure we pull our specific expertise, lead AI-related standardization activities, and ensure the rules allow for the developments of truly trustworthy AI systems and technologies. Thank you.